In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. After leaving Dildo, Newfoundland, we decided to explore this arm of the Avalon Peninsula a little further. We drove all the way to Split Rock and Redhead Cove, where we got a chance to do a little off-roading. The view was amazing, but was soon replaced with wind, rain, and fog for the next two days. So we decided to move on. We then drove to Portugal Cove where we boarded a ferry to the historic mining community of Bell Island. We made it just in time to enjoy this beautiful sunset. And just down the hill from our boondocking location is a tunnel to our very own secret beach. And of course, you cannot come to Bell Island without taking the mining tour. And this is where we say goodbye to Ed and Maria as they begin their journey back to Boston and we continue east to explore St. John's, Newfoundland. And that's where this week's video begins. Today we are at Waterford River Valley RV Park and we had to get a few things done. So we needed to get showers, laundry, and water and we just wanted to make it easier for ourselves all that is available here matter of fact the laundry machines are free so that made the overnight stay very cheap so we got all of our laundry done our tank filled up a couple of showers each and we are ready to go and from here i think we're going to go see signal hill and cape spears so looking forward to that but this RV park, it's right in the middle of Mount Pearl. And from the street side, it doesn't look like much, but once you get back in here, it's beautiful. And this connects up to a main trail where you can walk all over Mount Pearl and St. John's. So, and it's been really quiet and nice. I've really enjoyed our stay here, but it's time to hit the road and find our next adventure. Cape Spear Lighthouse. We are braving the crowds. It's still busy. A tour bus arrived right behind us, but we are here for a special reason. You know what it is? We're the most eastern point in North America. In North America. So of course we have to see this. Yeah. Now, if you've been watching our channel, you know we don't really do the touristy thing. We're off the beaten path kind of people, but every once in a while, you have to come do these tourist places. Yep, and I just hope they have ice cream at the top. <laughs> there is a cafe, so let's go see. Hello. Hi. This is one of those destinations that you have to walk to. You just park in the parking lot below 
and then you walk up top to see the lighthouse and the sights and there's also a cafe and that's in the middle of the screen right there that generally even has ice cream but not today We've only been up here maybe three minutes already and have seen three whales. Or the same whale three times. Or the same whale three times. That's that's possible. This is the most eastern point in North America, so we can finally check that box off. Yes, and it's home to the first sunrise on the continent every morning. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So now we've been to Florida on the southern. southernmost point. We've been to Maine on the eastern point. We've been to Washington on the western point. Yep. What's left? We still need south, southwest. Southwest, wow. All right, so this is pretty cool. And of I'm course, glad. we need Alaska. Oh, we need Alaska. <laughs> okay. We're going to head over to Signal Hill, drive through St. John by the harbor. I'm looking forward to that. It's just a little too busy here, and the parking is not super great to stay the night. No, but there was people staying the night in full-size RVs, so yeah. you can do it. It's just not really our thing. We're gonna try to catch the sunrise at Signal Hill. Even though this is the first sunrise on the continent, we're gonna catch it over there. Yeah. 
today we are between downtown St. John's and Signal Hill where we plan on checking out Signal Hill and the nearby Kitty Vitty. But we are free camping here and this area is packed full of trails with interpretive signs where you can learn all about rocks and plants and different stoneworks of the area. And it was fairly quiet night considering how close we are to downtown. And everything worked out pretty good, but we're looking forward to getting out and exploring the nearby surrounding areas and seeing what they have to offer. Hi, Rudel. Hi. Oh, he's a happy dog. You're a happy dog. Good morning. With this fresh haircut. Look at all these trails. I mean, this is the Johnson Geo Park. There's trails going for kilometers in just about every direction. Interpretive signs that tell all about the stonework of the local area. And it's dog friendly, as you can see, anytime you see a trash can and doggy bags. And there is actual bags in these. Sometimes you see these all over the place, but they've ran out of bags and they never refill them. Very welcoming trail system here. This is St. John's. The city is 114,000 people. It's the biggest city in Newfoundland. The colorful houses, steep hills, they remind me of San Francisco. And even though it's the biggest city in Newfoundland, it just doesn't have that big city feel. And this harbor here is something really special. The landscape to get in and out of this harbor is really just one of a kind. I did not think that St. John would steal my heart, but it has. We are currently at Signal Hill. There is so much hiking here to do. There are lookouts and trails and forts. Rudel got his new haircut. Did I say there's baby ducks on this pond up here?
today is the perfect cloud day. You, whoa, we're doing easy, easy. You know how I love clouds. It has just gotten warmer and warmer. It's 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius. By far the warmest it's been since we've been here. We are quite warm, but I want to do this hike. Even though there's a million stairs, we're going to do it. Dave had a bad night's sleep. He's taking a nap. So it's just Rudolph and I on this one. Goes all the way down here, around there, all the way down and up the narrows. This is one of those times where I absolutely love van life because I'm at work. I'm sitting here, I'm doing time lapse of the clouds, I'm watching the boats go in and out. I can take my time. Climbing back up this mountain is going to take me forever. But you know what? When I get to the top, my home is there. It just makes it so relaxing, so peaceful, and you can just be in the moment and enjoy yourself. Just like any other job, there's good days and bad days. But man, today is a good day. I think I can become a Canadian citizen and live here. I am loving St. John. Hear that big boat, buddy? The big boat. Another boat's coming. We could just sit here all day and watch boats. You want to sit here all day and watch boats? Oh, you good boy. Okay, 
here's where the torture begins. The one million steps up the hill. Wow. Actually, that was the worst part. We made it. I am so surprised that it only took me 30 minutes from the bottom to the top. I thought for sure it's gonna take hour, hour and a half. I guess all the hiking's been paying off. Oh. Thanks for coming along with me keeping me company. Another perfect day, Newfoundland. Whoa, Rudel. Another perfect day in Newfoundland. Wow. Up, up, Rudel. Up, up. Good boy. What we have learned right away is there is no parking. <laughs> the streets are super narrow. The streets look like they're one way. We're very large. We're getting quite a few looks going through here. Like the rock still goes into the middle of the road up here. And uh, now we have to turn around and go back the way we came where we got all the looks. <laughs> All we needed was a warning sign that says, do not drive down this way. Yeah, no parking or something. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. We'll walk. We are at the quaint little village of Kitty Vitty. Now, we're gonna try really hard to pronounce this correctly because we wanna say quitty, but it's kitty like kitty cat. Kitty vitty. Or. I saw it pronounced as kitty as in K I D D Y. Oh, no, it's kitty. I've got it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes the villagers call it quite a vita. Ah. So, <laughs> this is kitty vitty lake and we're gonna take Rudolph for a walk before we go down to the brewery. Yeah, and I can't wait to show you downtown. And Rudolph cannot come with us to the brewery, so that's why we're giving him a pre-walk before we go. Oh, there's a dog in the lake here. Rudolph's gonna wanna do that. <laughs> I don't have nothing. There's a little stick. I see a dead one on the tree. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, colors on and everything. Is that okay? That's all right. Go get it, Riddle. Oh, take it, get move away. Oh. Don't eat it. Didn't look very level for a dog, did it? It's alright, throw it in. Real struggle. Oh, you broke it because you're mad at it, huh? Hi. Learning. Right, that was a lot better. That was a lot better, Rudel. If you come on a nice day on the weekend, do expect it to be extremely busy. Like that busy. That busy. So we're hoping to get in line at the brewery before it's overcrowded with people. Um, because it only opens from 12 to 5, and we're hoping to catch a lunch. 
We've got about 20 minutes right now before it opens. I bet you there's already a line there. So what we've noticed in Newfoundland, the weekends are usually short hours are closed and long hours on the weekdays, which is reverse of what we're used to. Yeah. All right, here is our table at the brewery, and I don't know how we did it, but we were the first ones here. And it's a little bit before noon, but they open it up because they have a large party coming in downstairs. Look at the view. This is the view. excited this is the 1840 or 1892 this is the very first beer that they created here it's supposed to be really rich and malty and also this this is iceberg beer this is probably one of the more common smooth easy going beers and it's made from iceberg water they actually have somebody that goes out and takes pieces of iceberg and then brings them back and they use the water to brew the beer so I got a pretty good choice here I guess Gary's driving in Newfoundland we've been hearing about something called the capelin roll so I started researching it and it's when the capelin fish come in to spawn and we happen to be at the right beach at the right time to see the whales and right now the capelin are rolling if you would like to support our channel please consider becoming a patron thank you for watching